Morning everyone, welcome back to the next episode of Fossil Adventures. So happy new year to everyone watching. It's uh, January 2018 and we've come back to Saltburn Bay. So a bit of a cold day, wind's blowing down from the north but looks quite good down there. Looks like we've got some rocks and stuff to go look at. Tad's just going out, it's about half past nine in the morning. So let's crack on and let's get some good fans. So we've just we've just walked down the steps here and uh, we haven't even got to the beach and Mark's just picked this possible nodule up. It's got shells in it. So uh, Chris is just gonna give it a whack. So it'd be funny if we find some it's maybe fell out of someone's bag but we've not even got on the beach yet. Let's so. just give it a go. You Chris. never know. You never know. <laughs> Having the firing pa army, yeah. <laughs> parate, parate, yeah, there's parate yeah. as well. But it is an there's, nodule. There is definitely a part of the shell or something in there. Go well, on, keep going. We've started now. We're committed. Oh. Yeah, heavily parate. parate. Right, don't want to go. Don't want to go. No. Oh, oh god. That is hard. Go on, you've got a bigger arm. No, oh, Matt, Matt can't leave it now. <laughs> but he's got his goggles on. Are we leaving it, Matt? <laughs> no, I think it's just it's heavily just, pirate. It's pirate it? That's just pirate, yeah. Yeah. Oh well. Yeah. What? Well, you go. Well spotted. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's what someone else has done. Chucked it. But as you can see, look over there. There's definitely some real rock falls. So let's just hope we can uh, get some big ildis. Max rushing down already. Look. So I'd maybe be rushing down, but it's a bit slippery today. So let's just see how we get on. So just uh, having a look around here. This is the first first little part here. Max had some good stuff out of here before. As you can see, it's a bit windy. But, um, so, rucksacks come off now because we're not going to get quite round there yet. So, just going to spend some time and um, look round here. Hopefully, pick up some nice nodules or something like that. Not seeing anything particularly brilliant yet, but there's plenty of stuff to go at. So, we'll probably just spend a bit of time looking round here. Then hopefully, so me and Mark and Chris will be on the for some big ildis if all looks in. And again, you only want one or two really nice ildis and we'll be well happy. So I'm just going to turn the camera off, there's a bit of wood over there I can see. There. I'm going to turn the camera off so I can uh, have a bit better scout round and we'll turn it back on again when we've found something. So let's just see where Chris has got to. He's over there. You got some up, Mark? No. So, right, we're just going to have a look around the air. And there's a robin over there. You won't be able to see it on the camera, but he's flying around. So, not been filming too much. Um, as you can see, we're here maybe a little bit early, not out by the wind and the uh, shallow sands here the waves are still rolling in so we're just searching in this bit here so I have not been filming because I just wanted to try and see if there's any elders in this little part here which you do get so I wanted to try and just crack on and um, see if I could find anything found a few dacks but uh, no elders as yet so we've stopped the uh, the look now so I'll just come back to show you a few bits so this was the first one I picked up so uh, that's been a double, there's been one in there, quite a nice dack, I'll take that home, same as this one there, so we'll be able to prep them. Uh, this is one I broke, these ones here, there was two, but extremely pyritic nodule, you can see the iron pyrite in there, extremely difficult to prep, also as well it's extremely difficult to smash with the hammer, because you just break them like that, but every now and again you get a decent one. Someone else has had a go at this one before, it's been a lovely, lovely big duck there and you can see, or hopefully you can see there, some calcite in the chambers, it's been full of calcite that, so you could prep that little middle out and stuff but I'm going to leave that, 
it's been a nice ammonite unfortunately it's broken so there we go so there's a few bits I'll leave them for someone else if someone's uh, just starting out or something like that they'll be really happy to find them so I'm gonna just walk back and get my bag maybe have a brew and then hopefully the tide will go out a bit more and get around there but as you can see when you're out of the um, shadow of the cliff absolutely stonking day for January 2018 so please you could join us for this episode so a bit slim picking so far just a few dacks and bits and bobs the tad's still quite in so just walking along now heading south so Mark's just just dead there just over them a few rocks there but it's just over there so you can see still how far the tad's in so we'll be able to get around there so hopefully there's still a chance of some fans not picked anything up really but I did see that piece of wood there next to the hammer so that's like the biggest piece of wood I've seen for a while so that's the size of my hand as you can see quite a big piece but it's not jet I'll be taking it home it's a big solid lump but we'll be leaving that because um, there's nothing else we can do it's too big too big to cut too heavy to carry but it looks nice it's the biggest chunk I've seen for a while so we'll crack on and uh, if we find out we'll get the camera on and be sure to film it. So I've been a bit quiet on the fans front but um, yeah which is a shame I thought we'd have found more with the weather what we've had but plenty of time yet and we're going to try and get keep going south towards the uh, fog station but Mark spotted a nice piece of plant there if you can see that. Pretty it's in a big lump and it it's always could just be a little bit better but it's still nice to spot. And uh, as I put my gloves down to film this, I just spotted a little nodule on the other side of my glove there. There you go. So that'll very pyritic, but it's half out, so I'll take that one and prep that at home. So we're just going to have a little scout round here before we stop for a bite to eat. Um, hopefully there might be some more. Uh, Mark's just seen some more plant look. There we go. So, so not been filming loads because we've not found a lot but we will keep finding any fans and we don't want to be looking up there not at all really but there we go so we're just going to have a potter around here see what we can find and um, we'll keep filming it cheers guys so I've just picked a few bits of plant up in the last five minutes um, nothing I'm going to take home possibly but I'm going to continue looking but as you can see some um, plant remains in there always nice to find but difficult to find stable pieces you need very fresh pieces or to split the rock which is a shame because they, uh, they are lovely it's amazing they've survived millions of years when they've been so fragile but there's quite a lot in this area so i might try to split some rocks to find something to take home but i just thought i'd just show you them few pieces so if you do come here there's definitely plants to find